Hey everybody, what is going on? This is Deadly. Welcome back to another Escape from Tarkov task video. Today we're going to be talking about the mechanic task series called Signal Jamming. We will be covering every single part in this video, so let's get started. Before you unlock Signal Part 1, you're going to have to complete Gunsmithing Part 2, and I'll include a link in the description box below that will show you how to complete that task. Signal Part 1 has you going to Shoreline and searching for satellite dishes that are blocking the mechanic's signal. All you need to do is find these locations and survive and leave the area. And if you die after finding the source's signals, then you can actually just go back, do a Shoreline raid, and survive and leave. The first set of satellite dishes is actually at the Meteorologist Center, and you want to go to the one that is closest to the truck. Once you get close enough, then you'll actually complete the subtask and you can move on to the next set of satellite dishes. That is going to be at the health resort on the western roof. You'll notice two satellite dishes that are pointing towards the eastern wing. Just get close to those and you'll complete the subtask. Survive and leave the raid. An important thing to note, like I said before, if you happen to die before extraction, you just need to go in and complete a regular shoreline raid and you've completed the task. Signal Part 2 is an item collection task, and it's going to take you a little bit of time, but if you know the locations for certain items, it shouldn't be too bad. You're going to need to collect 3 CPUs, 6 rechargeable batteries, 3 printed circuit boards, and 3 broken G-phones. Let's start talking about the CPUs. So, all computers in the game spawn CPUs, but they can also spawn in certain locations, such as the Meteorologist Center, just under the like computer equipment next to the safe. There's periodically a CPU that lays on the ground. Also, East Wing 222 and 328 on the tables next to the computers and on the workbench periodically spawn CPUs and graphics cards. And of course, you can find them in every single computer in the game. So the North Wing in the Shoreline Health Resort or Room 306 in the Health Resort are really good for those computers, as well as Interchange in the offices scattered around the Ali, the Goshen, and the Ikea. Those are all good spots. And I'm not going to regurgitate too much information. If you want to learn more about where you can collect more computer components, I'll include a link to Farming Part 4 in the description box below, and it breaks it down where you can find more parts if you're really struggling. Next, you're going to have to find six rechargeable batteries. You can find these on the Ollie shelves and any industrial loot shelving in the game. This includes the western wing in Shoreline and the northern wing in Shoreline on all the shelving. Uh, like I said, the Ollie and all of the technology stores in the interchange. Uh, you could find them in duffel bags and filing cabinets. I found mine mainly on customs and filing cabinets and on industrial shelves, but they're pretty much all over the game so just keep an eye out for them next you're gonna have to find three printed circuit boards and if you've done gunsmithing and farming already then you're probably a master at finding these already really simple just all computers in the game have a chance to spawn circuit boards and they spawn quite often now for the G phones there is a store in the interchange that frequently has at least one G phone sometimes even more and that is called Tarkov Star. So if you're going to be in the interchange on the top level above the IKEA in one of the far northwestern corners you'll see this little tiny uh, phone store called Tarkov Star and on the tables in there periodically spawn G phones. Now if you go downstairs near the near the Ollie there's also multiple tech stores where G phones can periodically be spawning on the shelving so keep an eye out for that as always i recommend that if you guys have any locations that you've been finding these items and you want to help other viewers then let me know in the comment section below and if there's anything significant i'll pin it or you guys can read through yourself to see if you can find any neat locations for the most part these spawns are pretty generic other than the phone once you've collected all of the items turn them in to start signal jamming part three for this task, Mechanic will give you three signal jammers upon accepting the quest, and if you lose them, you can actually purchase more signal jammers from him, and you might have some problems with this due to bugs. This task is fairly simple because you already know where two of the three locations where you need to plant the jammers are. You need to go and place the jammers on the satellite dishes that you found for part one, and at a radio tower that's near the road to customs extraction. 
So again, to find the radio tower, just start heading towards the road to Customs Extraction Point, and you'll notice it sitting on top of a hill. All you gotta do is get close, plant the jammer, and wait for the timer. Now, right now, as of making this guide, there is actually a bug with the signal jammers. If you plant a jammer and you don't hear the traditional questing sound whenever you've completed a subtask like this, then you've actually not completed the task and your character is bugged, so leave the raid and try again. There's multiple ways you can attempt to fix this bug, but the easiest is simply restarting your game, and also keeping your jammers where you place them when you launch the game. So if you have them in your gamma container, don't take them out of the container and put them into your backpack, just leave them there while you're completing the quest. Or if you put them in your backpack, don't throw them back into your gamma container while you're attempting to plant them. If, for whatever reason, you're still bugged and unable to complete this task, then you need to delete your cache folder inside your Battlestate Games Escape from Tarkov game folder. After deleting my cache, it worked for me. Next, head to the Meteorologist Center and plant the beacon on the dish that is closest to the tower. After that, head to the western roof of the health resort and plant the last jammer on the satellite dish. You're going to have to survive and extract the raid, so after you're done planting, immediately head to the closest extraction point to complete the task. The last part of the task requires you to have a memory skill of level 2 or higher, which is really low. All you need to do to level memory skill is looting objects. In fact, by the time that you're even at this point in the task series, you should actually already have memory skill level 2. You gain memory skill experience by looting bodies and containers. Both the attention and the perception skill feed into the memory skill, so you shouldn't have any problems meeting this point. I do suspect in the future, this task will require you to have a higher level of memory. And if you read what the mechanic is actually saying in the text, it actually alludes to a signal jamming part 5, which is currently not in the game. So if you're watching this video in the future and that task is actually released, then I'll do my best to try to get a version out there in the task guide. Just check out the mechanic task playlist linked in the description box below or on my YouTube channel. And that is the end of Signal Jamming Parts 1 through 4. If you found this video helpful, let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe for more Escape from Tarkov guides, and check out the daily live streams every single morning starting at 8.30am Eastern Standard Time and Sundays at noon. 